All right, we are still setting up our new website here. And the next item we want to look at is located in the site menu of the thesis admin, and it's called blog page SEO. And we'll click over to that real quick. And so on this page, you have the opportunity to input a title tag, a meta description, and also meta keywords. What these are, are items that uh, will show up. So a title tag, let's look at some Google search results real quick. We'll go to, we'll go to uh, what these are, uh, are items that will appear in the search results. So this is a title tag and this is a description, a meta description. And you can influence you know, what appears here by editing this data for your 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 homepage. Um, by default, if you just if you just install WordPress and you just you know set up your site, you will be running what's called a blog style homepage. What's different about this page versus pretty much every other page of your site is you don't have direct control over you know the the uh, information like the title tag, information like the meta description, and other aspects of this page because it's it's an automatically generated page. If you have blog posts, they're just all going to appear here. So this is sort of an automatic page as opposed to one where you uh, have editorial control over every single item that appears on it. So let's contrast that with something like this page. With this page, this is just a single page. I have total control over everything. I can edit this page. I can put in custom title, I can put in a custom meta description, I can you know edit the content, uh, I can you know assign some other data to it, I can do whatever with this specific page. But your your blog page is a little different, like I said. And so Thesis includes some these controls that uh, give you the ability to change some of the key items on this page, specifically the title tag and meta description. So Let's go back over here. Let's go into our WordPress settings and you can determine or change the, the way your site runs by going to settings, reading, and we can see that this is a default setup here because the home page is just going to display our latest posts and that's what we've seen. So if you're running a default setup and you want to change the title tag that appears on this page, you will need to go in and use the blog page SEO details right here. But before we do that, let's look at what's there by default. All right. So by default, we get a generic uh, site title focus test site. That's what this one is. And then a this is actually the site tagline just showing off what focus can do. OK, and that's what our title tag is. That is controlled or it's really a mashup of these two items under settings general, the site title, and then the tagline. So that's just a default construction here that, you know, it's, it's sensible, but it may not be what you want. You might want to supply something more descriptive. So we can do that. So we're going to flip back over to the blog page SEO details and say, this is my custom title tag that's better. And we'll do it for the same with the meta description. Hey, and we'll save it. We can go back over here, hold shift, click refresh. Do the same with our with our uh, HTML source. And we can see that the title tag has changed to what I just input. And the meta description has also changed to what I just input. So that's a way to exercise control over these elements on a page where you otherwise would normally not have control. Now, before we go further, I want to comment on the meta keywords. So by default, if you just installed Thesis and Focus and, and are setting up your website, by default, your site is not going to output any meta keywords, okay? And the reason why is because meta keywords have been largely discredited for at least a decade and are really no longer respected by search engines. Uh, so it really doesn't matter. There's no reason to add this to your, uh, to your website. And these, these have been, the reason these have been discredited is because they were just used for spam. So somebody like me who sells a WordPress theme might put, you know, WordPress theme and then a hundred other names of other themes and this and that and try in an attempt to ca cast this wide net for search engines uh, and sort of cheat the system, if you will. Uh, but search engines, because that was exploited so heavily 
and spam so much, search engines no longer respect meta keywords, and I, I no longer use them on any of my sites, and it's not even set up by default. So if you know that that's that's the reason I think you should just ignore this. But if you wanted to set that up, I've got some instructions here that tell you what you need to go do. And if that's your bag, you can go deal with that. I do not recommend it. So anyway, right now we're running just a, a blog style homepage, and I've shown you how you can edit the SEO details associated with that. But let's say you're running a static homepage. So we're going to go back to settings, reading, and we're going to change it to a static homepage, which is very common these days. This is how I run all of my sites. And we now have a static home page and a, a, a separate blog page, specifically a blog page. So let's see what that has done to our site. So now the home page is a static home page. And then we also have, kill this, kill this. We also have a blog, which is now running our, our, our posts. So this was formerly the home page, but now this is its own blog page. And our home page is now this specific page that we can uh, control the content of. So you notice if we click on the blog page here and we look at the SEO details, this is now using the blog page SEO details that you specified here in the admin. The reason why, once again, is you don't have any control over the, the SEO details of this page, typically. And so you have to use this interface to, to change those items. Uh, on this, the static home page, you can specify exactly what you want. By default, it's just going to be um, by default, it's going to be a mashup of your site title and tagline, just like the, the other situation. But you can go in and edit this page and supply your own custom title tag. This is my custom static title tag. Same thing. And then we're going to hit update. We're going to view our page. And we can see in the source that we've got the title that we just input and the meta description we just input. So you can kind of see now using a combination of this and the direct controls you have on any normal page. Like I said, the blog page is not a normal page, so that you need special controls for that. Every other page you can just do this uh, very intuitively because each page gives you this level of granular control over SEO details uh, when, when you're within the editor. So there it is, blog page SEO details. It's for adding that you know, precise control over the uh, SEO type information of pages where you don't normally have that sort of control. All right, got it? See you in the next tutorial.